I think personally, you know, if I was in his position, but I feel like the only issue with what Bonobot tweeted at the time was, you know, his tweets at AKA. Bonobot, yeah, that, that didn't really sit well with me because at the end of the day, that's a liability because if anything had happened to AKA during mm. that period, whether it was from him or not, you know, his tweets no, had made him, you know, a liability. But I think, Burner Boy, at no point, from my understanding of the tweets, at no point did he, you know, attack the South African people. I think what he was saying is he wouldn't set foot in South Africa until the government, you know, the South African government takes, you know, active steps mm -hmm. to fight against xenophobia, which sure. makes a lot of sense. True that. And seeing as, you know, a lot of people are emotional about the whole situation because he threatened AK, we can't, you know, ignore that. Mm -hmm. So, you know, AKA came out to say Bonaboy must apologize to South Africans, but I don't see where Bonaboy need to apologize offended mm. South, South Africans. Africans. So, so do you think yeah. he should apologize to AKA? If AKA wants Bonaboy to apologize to him personally, personally, he should come out and say Bonaboy should apologize not to South me. South Africa. Not mm. trying to hide it as something else. And the, a lot of people have come out to say they don't want to see Burner Boy there. A lot of other South African artists have said they don't want to share the stage with Burner Boy mm. because he threatened their colleague. And if I was Burner Boy, I would, you know, release a statement and say, oh, I would love to come and support this cause. Because he's already said he's donating his earnings from the show to, yeah, you know, to fight victims. xenophobia. Yeah, victims of xenophobia. So if they don't want him there, I think he shouldn't go. Looking back on you.